What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 44 of our NC State Return to Primetime Dynasty. This is our week 10 recruiting before our game against the Colorado Buffaloes. And so while that's going in the background, I'm here to talk to you guys about what's been going on. So in the previous video that went up last night, which may be two nights or three nights, depending on whenever you watch this, um, I talked about why I've been gone and everything like that and uh, getting the series underway. So uh, tonight I uh, did... Week 10's recruiting, which is this video, and the Week 10 game, which is the uh, game against the Buffaloes. And uh, so, um, all I'm going to say is it's a great game, and uh, it was definitely a well-worth uh, return to primetime Dynasty game. Uh, this made me feel really good to be able to get back into this and doing this. So, um, I'm edging towards my last couple days uh, inside this program that I'm in right now, so... Uh, this weekend, I'll probably only be able to do maybe two days worth of recording. Um, I don't know when the game against Colorado will go up, uh, just because I don't know how my recording will go in the way of, you know, getting everything kind of going. Um, so uh, I'll have to update you guys on that. But anyways, um, we're taking a look at Jamie Vincent, who is a defensive tackle and we've been working on him for a while a lot of these people we've still been working on for a long time so it's kind of good to kind of go back and do it and i actually um i've been playing some of the dynasty in ncw 14 uh just like off on my own time um whenever i have like a little bit of time i can pop in and play some on my trojans dynasty uh i don't like the recruiting in the new game at all um it's very unpersonal like you really maybe because i just don't get it and i just need to kind of like watch some stuff on it watch some tip videos uh just because it's not like it was in the other games so it's just like a new learning curve and it's kind of weird to be able to not be able to talk to the people quote unquote talk to the to the re recruits uh all you do is just set up how many points you want to put into them every single week and so it really it really kind of it's kind of weird in a way and you only get like five thousand points available so i think i just gotta adjust some stuff and kind of maybe get a hang of it um uh, definitely before i jump into making videos uh but i did receive a comment from um one of my subscribers the derek man uh he was asking uh if i'm if i'm going to update to ncw 14 that's a very good question thank you for putting that on the previous video uh yes i am going to update but not until um, I'm finished with this year of NCAA or NC State's dynasty, and then the year one of Duke. Um, if all goes well, um, at the end of NC State, I may. That is a big may because I'm thinking about trading the game once I'm done with it, just so I can get some extra money, um, especially with the new one already out. Um, I may may do every now and then bring out NCAA and NC State dynasty video but I'm, I'm kind of wanting to move on um and that's something that uh, i just need to do and i think that after this season the way it's been shaping up um i could possibly get the ultimate goal of uh getting to the top of the nation uh, in a way so uh i'm hoping that i can do that and that's definitely a good place to leave it i think if we can achieve the part that i'm thinking that we may be able to get to um I'm definitely going to be happy about it and ready to go. And uh, I'll probably notice to talk about this in my um, video with the actual game. But the ACC has like six people in the top ten. Uh, we're number six right now. Um, Wake Forest was number seven. Virginia Tech was like number five or four. Um, well, who else was up there? Um, uh, Maryland was like number 15. So, I mean... We have so many people. I know Clemson wasn't ranked. There's a couple others. Uh, I don't think Miami's ranked. No, they're only like three and four. Uh, so there's actually quite a bit of ACC people up top, which I'm really happy about. Um, I can't wait to see who we face in the ACC championship game if we get there, uh, just because um, it would be kind of cool for us to face Virginia Tech again after last season's uh, heartbreaking loss to them in the championship game that kind of put us in the Sugar Bowl, which we already would have put us in the Orange Bowl if it wasn't for that. So um, maybe we'll face them again this year if we actually get in. Uh, that'd be pretty cool and kind of get our revenge, and maybe that would prelude to a bigger bowl um, or maybe even the national championship game if we can continue um, our winning waves from the previous nine uh, weeks. So uh, that's pretty exciting to me. Uh, RJ Washington, cornerback, got done recruiting part of him. We've some guys up to come and uh, 
coming to visit this week, so we have to make sure to get them in. We're going to look at uh, Arthur Fuller, who's an athletic person, and uh, we're pretty much the top spot. I don't know how he is not committed yet. Um, so hopefully he will commit here pretty soon, but definitely um, definitely hoping that we can make this dynasty go to the highest level possible. But again, this is the last season f- for this uh, sadly, but I think it is time for us to move on to the new game. Um, and that way, and again, like I said in the other video, if you guys have not watched 43, click up that on the annotation up at the top left-hand corner. Um, if Definitely, I want to only make it where we only have one uh, one dynasty going on, um, one re- return. I, I, I said in the other video, I want to kind of merge the road and return together and kind of just make it like a primary return, you know, like the road to returning to prime time. Basically I won't actually call it that. It'll still be called return to prime time. Cause that's just something that I just love. And I think that was a good idea for us to do. And so I honestly could see us. Um, I, I think we should only do one team. That's why um, I said that uh, whenever I kind of get a chance to look at all the teams, I think I may go do that tonight. And I'm going to kind of write down the top, four or five that kind of interest me and then i'll make up a poll sometime this weekend or maybe next weekend and uh send out a link for you guys to go and watch uh that way we can um that way we can go ahead and uh see who like who what what the, what do you guys want as viewers want to see uh me we do so and also i want to kind of point out a question right here this is kind of a q a for you guys uh, do you guys want generated names, or do you guys want me to download a roster? Uh, I'm perfectly fine with both. I kind of like the generated names just because uh, it kind of makes it a little bit different than real life. Like sometimes it kind of gets old. Like with Madden, it kind of got old. Uh, like calling, you know, Michael Vick throws back drops back the pass. It didn't seem very authentic. I don't know if you could really say authentic. It just didn't really seem original, and so it. I'm kind of hesitant to do it, but I just want to see what you guys want to do because. If I have the names, then if I'm doing, you know, the same team as another person on YouTube, then our commentary is going to be so much the same that it won't allow for different flows. And so it'll be taken away from both our videos, you know. So uh, that's just something to kind of think, keep in mind whenever you guys uh, put in the comments what you guys want. Uh, so, uh, again, I'll, I'll kind of think about kind of like the top four teams I really want uh, or top five teams I really want to kind of look at and kind of do and so I'll kind of go through those tonight and see uh, which teams I think. I'll make a note, and then I'll try, try to get a poll out and see if I can find a polling website. If you guys don't know any good polling websites that are free, uh, shoot me a link uh, in the comments or send me an email or, pers- or PM, whichever one's the most easiest for you guys to do. But uh, definitely let me know uh, if there's any specific uh, really good free uh, polling sites you can you know you can set up a poll and you can you can look at it daily and it will actually send you updates and stuff like that so uh but let me know if you guys know any, anything like that but also um don't hesitate to comment or anything like that on this video especially with the, some of the questions that i've kind of thrown out there t- tonight and uh definitely um hope that you guys have enjoyed uh this video and i'm, I'm happy to be able to bring it back bring back the series uh, i brought it back for like maybe a couple weeks at one point, and then I had to do a bunch of schoolwork. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at where we stand against them right now. Uh, they are uh, pretty good on offense. They're like the uh, number 61 total offense, and we are still the number one rushing defense in the land. So uh, hopefully we will be able to pull out this win against them. Uh, they have a lot of injuries, which could be plaguing them. It looks like their main halfback is hurt uh, with the last name of Trimbley as well. So... Hopefully, um, we won't be, um, you know, hopefully we won't be destroyed by them um, as we continue our winning streak, hopefully, in past uh, week 10. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time for the game against the Buffaloes. Peace.